What's up guys, Challenge Chris here. Today, we're gonna to pick the second cheapest lock at Budding's Warehouse. This is a Lockwood lock. Now, the interesting thing about this lock, like I said in my last video, if we look at advertising, they put a lot of effort into their advertising here. And I think this could trick a lot of people into buying a cheap lock that might not be effective. So again, as a rank amateur lock picker, can I get into this quickly? <laughs> Let's have a look at the advertising on this lock. Uh, and again, I'm all about what sucks people in to buy something that is an inefficient product for what it is designed to do. On the back of this lock, I want to point out, it says it's a level one security. It's designed, at, it's designed to be a deterrent. It is not uh, something that's designed to keep something safe. It even says it here, a one to three level lock provides basic protection for barrier and deterrent applications. And this comes back to what I say about lock picking, which is locks and locking windows and doors and things is really only to keep honest people out. If I wanted to really break into a house, I could just throw something through a window. Um, but when you're putting locks on something, you're taking it to that level where you're deterring people who might take advantage of a situation. And that's why it's important to look at the advertising on these locks. If this is only for a deterrent purpose and I was hell bent on stealing your tools out of your workman's trailer, this isn't gonna do anything according to its own advertising. But they get away with selling these locks by how fancy it is. They've got QR codes on the side so you can go look up extra information and it makes it look really digital and space age. Um, the lock body itself is produced in such a way that looks strong. Um, so it's it's plated steel on top of another type of body. I'm not sure what it is. I do not know yet. Um, the, the plastic, the rubber at the bottom here uh, makes, again, it's like a finesse thing. It makes it look better. Uh, it's got, again, hardened written on the shackle. So a hardened shackle, people automatically think, oh yeah, that's going to be awesome. 25 year mechanical warranty. So these guys are saying this will last 25 years and those components will work absolutely Absolutely fine with no issues or then they're going to replace it if it breaks all those things plus scales at the back people love numbers and statistics uh, these all lead to buying this lock it only costs six dollars fifty and we're going to see how quickly I can break into it we're going to try three different attacks my three favorites uh, that I've tried uh, which again if anyone has the answer to what this pick is actually called i call it bumping i know it is not uh and then we've got the kinetic attack with a single diamond pick and we've got individual pin picking and i've got three little tensioners here from my cheap 30 dollar ebay kit without further ado let's break it open and get picking as far as i can tell we have one two Maybe four, I think possibly four pins. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'll try and give you a good shot of it. I reckon four pins. Got a really nice open keyway there. I'm betting that's a drainage hole for water, possibly, um, but pretty open. Um, let's just check that it works. There we go, opens easy as. And it's a bit lighter than the last one that I tested, but it is, it feels good in the hands, which again is going to give you that uh, dropping it. False sense of security. Uh, let's get cracking. First of all, we'll try and use the bump method. I'll see if I've got more. Maybe that one. Give me space. Nah. Let's try this one. Oh, okay. So I'm feeling like it's definitely a four pin. Uh, we're going to put a little bit of tension on it. See if I can't get it so the shackle's in view. I can't do it. Sorry, guys. Knock it back and forth. There we go. And open. How long was that? Just a few seconds. I'll, I'll look at it on the clock, but that came out open super quick with that pick. Right. Number one out of the way. Close it back up. Locked. Kinetic attack with the half diamond. Really light tension here. Hopefully I don't knock the camera over. Ah. Okay. So apparently, I'm probably doing it wrong, but apparently this is resistant to kinetic attacks. I keep being able to set two or three pins. I can hear click back into position. 
Yeah. All right. So, without further ado, we'll move on to single pin picking. I could not get it to open with one of these. Doesn't mean someone else wouldn't be able to. Um, we've already proved that using one of these picks will allow you to get into it in just a few seconds. So individual pins, I think there's four. A little bit of tension. Ah, there we go. Oh my god. Okay, that took me considerably longer than um, I had hoped. It actually took me about 10 minutes to individually pin pick it. I kept oversetting some of the pins. Um, it was pin number three uh, in there that is really shallow, and I kept oversetting it. I kept putting too much pressure on it, and you could feel it. And when you when you let go of the tension, it was the one you could hear slam down. I left my pick in there and left the tension off, and you could feel it hit it, just smack it. So. Um, there you go, I was oversetting one of the pins really badly, uh, and well, all lessons learnt, hey? There you go guys, the Lockwood Assay Alloy? Alloy, Alloy, that's how you say it, right? Yeah. <laughs> it opened very, very quickly using this pick. Uh, a couple of seconds again, I find that if it opened, if it was gonna open one of these, it's gonna open very quickly. Uh, I could single pin pick it. It took me a while to understand what was going on in there. Again, rank amateur is only the second padlock I've picked. I'm gonna use both the padlocks in the last uh, video and this one uh, to learn more about picking, more about feel and feedback and whatnot. If you've got any tips for me, I would love to hear them. Please leave them in the comments below uh, and I will read them and hopefully get back to you and if you've got a lot of knowledge you'll probably pick your brains a lot all right thank you very much for watching guys I hope you enjoyed the video remember to hit the subscribe button because that helps make me that helps make me that helps make me helps make the channel better for you guys and give us a thumbs up too because that helps these videos grow and go further all right peace I'm out